The Roche lobe is the region around a star in a binary system within which orbiting material is gravitationally bound to that star. It is an approximately teardrop-shaped region bounded by a critical gravitational potential with the apex of the teardrop, the pointy bit, pointing towards the other star. Any material outside the Roche lobe, depending on its initial location, energy and momentum, may either escape the system completely, orbit both stars or get sucked off onto the binary companion. Close to each star, surfaces of equal gravitational potential are roughly spherical and concentric with the nearest star. Far from the stellar system, the equal potentials are roughly ellipsoidal and elongated, parallel to the axis joining the stellar centres. The critical equipotential intersects itself at the L1 Lagrangian point of the system. That's a point where a smaller object will maintain its position relative to the two larger orbiting bodies. The L1 Lagrangian point is on the plane and between these two bodies. This forms a two-lobed figure of eight with one of the two bodies at the centre of each lobe. This critical equipotential defines a Roche lobe. Roche lobe overflow occurs when a star fills its Roche lobe, often during the late stages of stellar evolution. Any material that passes beyond the Roche lobe of the star will flow onto the binary companion by way of an accretion disk. This occurs through the inner Lagrange point where the gravity of the two stars cancels and is responsible for a number of astronomical phenomena, including novae, type 1a supernovae, and many X-ray binary systems. And that was Roche Lobes.